Hi guys and welcome to another Elementor Builder video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well, we've got a question that comes up all the time. I've got two sites here, both built with fantastic Elementor page builder. And what we're going to do today is save a section and move it from one site to the other and also move it to the same site as well. Show you a few options, really easy to do and it's a great feature can be a real time saver. So I've got a page here and uh, let's save this section right here and move it to a different page first. So the first thing I want to do is hit the edit with the Elementor button. Once loaded let's go down and choose a section. I think we were going to do this one and this will work fine with both the free version and the pro version of Elementor and you can download both from my link below this video. So I'm going into the section, little blue tab for a section right here. At the top of every section you'll find a little blue tab. Right click on that little blue tab and hit save as template. Call it whatever you want and hit save and it'll save it to your library. Now once it's saved it should appear in your library. There it is, new to, and it'll tell you that it's a section. You can save pages. You can save the header if you've got the pro version. But there it is, it's new to, and it's called a section. So it's in our little section right there. So if we want to move it to another site, we need to export it. So hit the three little buttons right here on the side. You'll find delete or export. I want to export it. I'm using Google Chrome so it's downloading it to my browser window here. It'll download it to your default download location or whatever that is with the system that you're using. Now I'm going to leave that right there for a moment and what we'll do first, we'll demonstrate how to reuse that section on the same site. So let's close this up and let's go to a different page, view this one. Here's the contact page. Say we want to pop it in here, just below this section right here. Again, hit the edit with Elementor. Remember for this one we're on the same site, we're just moving it from one page to the other. Once loaded, simply go down to where you want to put it. Hit the little section button. On the left hand side you'll see a little plus to add a new section. And you can go to the briefcase add template because we've saved it as a template and you want to go to my templates scroll down there it is right there so let's insert it hit the insert now it asks you if you want to import the document settings go for no unless you particularly know exactly what you're doing because it can overwrite the styles of your page so go for no if you're not sure there we go. As you can see, it's popped that whole section in there for us. Simple. And that can be a real time saver. And if you only wanted one of these modules, obviously pop the whole section in. Just grab the module, put it wherever you want it, and delete the rest of the section you don't want. And let's just update. Make sure that's going to work on the front end. There we go. There's our new little section right there. How easy was that? Okay, that's how to move it to your own site. And obviously you can start a new page and just insert it in your new page the same way. So let's now move it to a different site. So we've got it downloaded to our downloads down there. Let's go over to this site and import it into our new site. Again, we want to hit the edit with Elementor. Once loaded, simply go down to where you want to put it. Let's put it between these two sections. Again, hit the little plus. And again, we've got to hit the little briefcase because we're not adding a new one. We want to add one to the library. Again, we want to go to my templates. And the little arrow right here up at the top, just to the left of the refresh button, is import template. So you can either hit the little green button and drag, 
browse to your download location wherever it was you downloaded your JSON file to or with me I've got it right there so I can just drag it up and drop it in there and there it is new to and let's go and insert again I don't want to overwrite my page styles here so I'm going to hit no and there we have it we've just imported that little section for us right there and again let's make sure it's going to work on the front end and there it is right there extremely easy now of course you can do the same thing you can save a whole page and load it somewhere else also if you want to so if we go back here we've got a whole page here if you sort of want to pick through and delete the stuff you don't want because they've got all their nice styling in there if you like the styling so to save this as a page go down to where it says update there little arrow left click on the arrow save as template and let's call it a new page save it and again if we go down here it should be it there it is right there at the bottom again if you need to you can export it and use it on a different site or you can just leave it where it is in the library and we can add a new page so let's do that let's go back to our WordPress and add a new page call it whatever you want to call it I'm going to use Elementor full canvas on this page attributes down here Ele Elementor full width and edit with Elementor and let's go down and again we'll hit the little briefcase here's our library go to my templates again I'm not going to import the styles I'm just going to import the page itself and there we go we've got the whole page imported just like that and you can pick through chuck away anything you don't want to use and use what you do want to use and build around it whatever you want to do to make sure it's going to work on the front end well, there we go instant page just like that and this is also great if you've built it from scratch yourself and you save it as a, a page you can add it to new pages and get your common styling going throughout your site so there you go guys that's how easy it is to import export save and load templates using the fantastic Elementor builder so I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up ring the bell comment share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.